Today we're going to discuss how to varnish an oil painting. I like to use Gamvar. Gamvar is my favorite because it's not globby um, and it's not stinky, it's not toxic. It also goes on really smooth like water, but I don't really like the glossy finish because it's just too shiny. And if I photograph my work, I take the photos before I varnish it so that I don't have to deal with the glare. But when the time comes to varnish, I actually mix the matte with the glossy to get a satin finish. And I know they do sell satin too, but I just do this myself so I have um, more variety. So you can play with the amounts of matte versus glossy. I just like a little bit of shine to enhance the color. And when I mix the matte and glossy together, you can see I've just used an Italian seasoning spice jar. So save your spice jars, they're great. Uh, shake it up really well because you'll find there's little floaters in the bottom that um, will dissolve as you shake it, right? And shake it like a Polaroid picture. Uh -huh. um, and then I keep a special glass just for varnish. I actually keep it upside down on top of my bottle so that it doesn't get all dusty. Strangely enough, it's a Bombay gin glass, <laughs> but the trick with varnish is just use a very small amount. Use as little varnish as possible. You don't want to lay it on too thick or it'll puddle up and pull up. So I'm varnishing this, <coughs> excuse me, underpass today. Of, I painted it in Evanston. It's actually an oil painting on um, an ampersand board. And you can see it from my underpass series. And the reason why one would varnish a painting is, can you see how the surface is very kind of uneven in, in terms of glossy versus matte? So when I was painting it, I was using some linseed oil. I was using a little bit of uh, liquid as well to glaze a bit and this is on an ampersand board that has a little bit of texture I also did some scraping and scratching to show some of the weathered uh, urban textures some of those gritty textures so the reason why I want to varnish this is to make the surface more uniform and to also enhance the colors You'll see that varnish is going to deepen your colors, especially if you've done a little bit of glazing. I tend to lay your thin applications of paint with oil, a bit like what watercolors do, so that people can see these transparent veils of color underneath. So when I varnish it, it will almost cut through the dry paint to show the layers underneath. And speaking of dry, you need to make sure it's 100% dry. So if you like to paint thick, I've even heard you can wait up to six months to make sure it's totally dry. This um, texture is somewhat thick, but if I touch it, it's totally bone dry. There's no squishy stuff coming out. And notice I've only poured about an eighth of an inch of varnish in this cup. I like to use this Gamblin varnish brush I feel like it's the right size, it's the right texture, it's not too soft, it's not too thick, it's just right. And then I use a tack cloth, which is a bit like a cheesecloth, but it has a little bit of a tacky adhesive on it, and it picks up all the dust. So for those of you that like to work on wood, you know that it shows dust more than, say, canvas, because the weave of the canvas will um, disguise the dust. So with this ampersand board, I'm just wiping off all the dust. You also want to make sure that your surface is dust free. So I had already wiped off my table before I started and made sure there was no, um, you know, random charcoal dust or anything else that might be in your studio. So get your surface nice and clean. And notice I'm just dipping a tiny little bit in this brush. See how I'm only dipping it on the surface, but I'm not submerging it in the varnish. And that way when I lay the varnish on, it won't puddle up. 
because some varnishes like Damar will yellow if you lay it on too thick. And I don't really like Damar varnish anyway because it's really toxic. Um, and also it tends to get really syrupy. But this Gamvar is almost like the texture of water. So it's much more viscous. It never gets globby and syrupy. And you can see I'm using a pretty fast stroke here with my brush stroke. So I'm laying it on and, and you don't want to keep moving it around because if you've ever worked with acrylic paint, you know that once it starts to dry, it will actually pick up the varnish and it will get splotchy, right? So you, the trick is use a very thin amount, use as least, as, as less as you can possibly use, as little as you can possibly use, and then notice as you spread it, this texture, this um, ampersand board has a little bit of texture in it because it's a clay board. So I'm just using the surface of the brush to push the varnish down into the texture. But like I said, you don't want to keep moving it around. So I'm done now. I'm not going to keep fussing with it. It will take about a day or two to dry. So keep it in a place where there's not a lot of dust, right? You can see that the uh, color is much deeper now. You can see some of the transparent layers are coming through. Uh, and then notice the side of this ampersand. I actually just rubbed a stain on it. So I used um, oil paint, just some gray Gamblin oil paint and some thinner and I thinned it down and made it a bit like a stain. And then I painted it and then I just wiped it off with a clean rag to show the grain of the wood. And that way you get a little bit more dimension as it sits off the wall, it looks nice that way. So yeah, basic how-to to varnishing. Um, Gamblin has some great how-to videos on their website. In fact, that's how I learned how to do this. So if you get on um, gamblin.com, you can read more about all the different varnishes. And I do recommend the brush. Just make sure you get it nice and clean when you're done with any sort of solvent and then wash it out with soap. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more, go to my website. It's www.studio215.org. I teach painting and drawing out of my studio. We have figure drawing, oil painting, watercolor painting, beginning drawing, still life, you name it, we do it, abstraction. So thanks for watching and have a great day.